Okay. Hi. <laughs> I'll just start the meeting. I don't know. Um, yeah. Good to see everybody. This is the metrics models meeting, right? Um, so many meetings today. Uh, uh, so yeah, I can share my screen. No, I'm not going to share that screen. Maybe I'm still on FOSS Asia. We were talking about FOSS Asia a minute ago. Here we go. I get it together. We have a light crowd. Happy Lunar New Year to our folks in China and around the world that celebrate that. It made me think of what your favorite holiday was, so I added that question in. I don't know what mine is. I like them all. I really like Christmas. I like Thanksgiving because it's lots of food sitting around and a low, lower pressure family environment. Yeah. I like, uh, yeah. I like Easter too. I like egg hunts mostly. Um, okay. So we can start the agenda. It's super light. I wasn't sure Gary was going to be here. I know we wanted to talk about the viability stuff. So if he's not here, we have a very light, a very light agenda. Um, unless y'all have other things you want to talk about. Um, I wanted to, Matt gave me an update on the ISO stuff to pass along since he's on a plane right now. Um, he has not heard back from Jory, who is the person at the LF that was helping us uh, figure this all out. And so he spoke with Kate at FOSTEM, I believe, um, and we're going to loop her in as kind of our little nudge person. Who's going to try to... Yeah. Our LF nudger, yeah. I would say the squeaky, she's our grease maybe, or she's our squeak of our wheel. I don't know. She um, she's going to try to help move it along. Um, and then Matt was thinking that some of the candidates for um, the beginning as we start this process might be um, in the models that have been deployed in Compass already uh, would be good candidates. And then some of the metrics from our, the, the atomic metrics that are in our insight guides. So um, thought we'd bring that up for discussion. Whatever, whatever people think, um, I'll just make a note here. I, I think it's pretty clear from the conversations Daniel and I had with Yahui in China that it's important to, to that country's way of operating that we have ISO standards. So doing the ones in Mac OSS Compass first makes sense to me. So he was thinking about six or so of these. I don't yeah, know. I would, I would start with one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there, I guess there are about six <laughs> candidates total. Um, yeah. In, in any case here, they're probably discussing more than, I mean, so we can discuss about the uh, models that are supported by OSS Compass, but what I assume we are defining in the standard would be the what. So basically the definition, which is, Kind of independent so what we are defining the metrics models i would say not the implementation which is the how right Am I right yeah i correct and i've been through the paperwork it's really codifying in a very structured way what we've already done and mm -hmm. coloring in some of the lines that we didn't color in so like for, because we have the metric models we have the raw material to start filling out the forms which really seems like a fairly bureaucratic process more than anything okay do we need like a crash course on how to create a standard because i have, I have no idea that's what the lf person is i think going to be facilitating is that right elizabeth okay. that's my understanding is that that they because they have experience doing this so they were going to guide us through it and help us sort it out um but then they've been kind of uh off grid, I guess, for a little bit. So that's why we're going to go through Kate to see if Kate can kind of just nudge them to help. Um, I don't know if we have another contact in case that doesn't ever come to fruition, but um, that might be something we think about too. It's just like a backup person that can help us. Okay, I can ping a couple of people I know. Um, is that the newsroom? Plan B? Like, well, I can try and see if I get something and then I'll share here. Yeah, I, I don't think there's any harm in that for sure. Um, just because we have been wanting to do this for a while and it's kind of, it seems to have stalled. So yeah, that would be helpful. Thanks, Daniel. I'll just put a, oops.
but I don't want to, to mention names. No, no, totally yeah. fine. Yeah. <laughs> Vol volunteer them <laughs> on the mm. to them. <laughs> okay, cool. Just in case. Awesome. Thank you. Anything else on this that we want to talk about? Okay. I think that's all we know right now. Yeah, we don't really know anything else. Um, and then I'm not sure what Gary wanted to specifically talk about with viability. Does anybody know? I do. I know what that is. Awesome. Um, <laughs> so what we talked about was creating, uh, so the viability models are pretty complex, right? So it's, it's four models that each have, I don't know, half a dozen metrics in them. And so what I was talking to Gary about was creating a starter viability model with um, my pitch to him was four metrics and he says he can't possibly do it unless he has five. Um, so we'll, we'll give him an extra, extra metric so that he can have, he can have more. No, it's fine. He had, he had good reasons for it. Cause I was thinking we could pick one from each um, of the four models, um, but he, he made a good case for, for having five metrics. So, um, so I think that what he wanted to talk about was um, was starting that process of creating this starter viability model, just to make it, just give people a place to start, and then they can expand on it and do the full or model process after that. Does he have an idea of what metrics he wants in there already, or is mm -hmm. that okay? Yeah, he does. I don't, I don't remember. He, he did tell me what they were. Okay. I just don't remember off the top of my head. Does he need us to start a doc for him in the chaos account so that he can start dropping notes into it in the template? Uh, that's a good question. I, I don't know. I don't know if he started anything or not. Okay, I can ping him. Um... Yeah, that, that would be good. If you could ping him and ask him if he wants no. to start a doc. Okay. But I think it's, I think it's a really good idea. I'm, okay. I think, I think it was originally, I think it was originally Matt's idea that we needed kind of a starter because what this gives us is so the way, maybe I should talk about this just a little bit, the way I've been thinking about um, models, can I actually share my screen? Yeah, I think that power exists. Um, uh, <laughs> It does. I just needed Elizabeth to stop sharing so that I could share. Let me just find, uh, let me find where it is. Um, I'm actually giving a presentation at the Ospoology. Um, you want an apple bomb or apple town? Apple, town? <laughs> <What a, laughs> apple, apple thorn. Okay. Apple thorn. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, okay. Sorry, let me go back to Zoom and I can share. Okay, can you see that? Yep. Okay. So so the way the way I've been thinking about metrics model metrics and um and then kind of related to that is metrics metrics model is you know kind of thinking about this from the standpoint of contribution. So that has been the sweet spot, right, for chaos in the past, is we've had loads of metrics for open source projects with kind of a focus on the, the contribution side. So people contributing to open source projects, people running open source projects, more from the project standpoint. Um, and I, I kind of talked to the OSPO group a little bit about this, this terminology and it seemed to resonate with them. So there's contribution metrics which is really what the starter project health um, metrics model was really designed to address. But then now we have this whole other set of, of models that are around consumption. So this is um, what they kind of refer to as like inbound or downstream, um, which is people pulling open source projects into their products. So that's, um, that's what I'm calling consumption. And so Gary's viability models all fit really um, nicely in the consumption model. So this is kind of how I've been thinking about the metrics models. And I haven't really socialized this much, but I think the first presentation where we're going to do this is going to be 
Appledorn, and then I'll also do this probably um, in Cali and I's talk at scale because we're going to touch on the metrics models there. But this is this is kind of the the model that I've been using. And so one of the reasons, sorry, this is why I'm talking about this now. But one of the reasons that I wanted Gary to create the starter project health metrics model is be, sorry, starter viability model is then that gives us a starter consumption model. So we'll have a starter model for consuming open source projects and have a, um, a starter model for kind of the contribution side. So this is this is really like people working in projects themselves. And this is people, other people consuming projects. What do people think? I think Daniel, you have a puzzled look on your face. <laughs> it's uh, that this bit is small, so I was kind of <laughs> so. Oh, sorry. It is. It is really. Uh, <laughs> okay. Sorry, it's very tiny. So it was um, and okay. I can't. I, I can't find. I can't find the plate. There's the play button here. I can make it a little bigger. So that wasn't puzzled. That was squinting. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, yeah, thank you, thank you. So my face was mainly trying to trace the things. I'm with my laptop. I don't have a monitor today. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, no, I'm in, I'm in the same boat because I'm working from from the library. I think so. My 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 thoughts here are this makes sense, um, and this might be or uh, a way to aligning these with existing work in other. Places, but for instance, the maturity model that Anna was or released a few couple of years ago, maybe. Um, so it's like, okay, there is a process, you know, to consume open source, which is the initial stage for uh, you know, compliance for, for co companies willing to, to to do this journey, and then there are certain maturity levels. So even you can you can think of so this is a way of looking at this, but there is another way which is basically steps where you would have consumption, and then in broad improvements or contribution at second level, kind of, but we can relate these to them at some point. Yeah, so that's actually, that's how I actually end this presentation okay. is, um, uh, oh wait, maybe this isn't the right presentation. Um, oh no, this is the right presentation. So the, the point I make on this slide is, oh no, maybe it's the point here, is that you should be thinking about consumption and contribution together. So mm -hmm. the idea being that if you're consuming open source, you should be contributing back to it because that's how you improve the viability of projects is by, by consuming it. So, so kind of the message behind this is that it's, it's really, it's not, it's not really one or the other. It really should be both. And those two things do kind of feed off of each other. Yeah, I, I get yeah it. absolutely. Yeah, when, right after the pandemic, I remember I gave a talk on at the OSPO, OSPOCON, and then I was, I was not saying this, but basically there are there are different companies that are basically you know just consuming, and they don't care about anything else. Then just consuming that, but because they are you know, um, um, uh, uh, sorry, it's a bit late here. They're not familiar with the open source process. I think is what you're saying. So the idea of contributing back perhaps is not something they even think about. Yeah, exactly. They are not ready for that. This is not part of their thinking, but then at some point they will realize that, uh, you know, that's something important to be at the same table with those projects. So the way I see this is you're a large corporation, you are, you're, you are using open source. Um, and then, but if, you, if, if we forget for once about open source, then you have basically providers, right? And then you have a risk assessment to engage with those providers, and you have you want to have a a, a uh, healthy ecosystem around you know for your providers as satellites of your large corporation because they are providing value to your company. So what's the difference with open source, right? If this is an open source that has a commercial backing somehow that works, same process. But if you are just simply taking open source projects from you know from the outside, then there is. There are certain things that you are not doing. So, but why are you behaving in a different way? So it's when you, you need to go back and say, okay, I need to have a conversation with you, open source project, whoever you are, and see how can I make you more healthier and sustainable for me in the long term. So this is this is part of the discussion there. Yeah, absolutely. So that's that's actually one of the key points that, that I'm trying to make in this presentation that I'm trying to give you in two minutes. It's a 30 minute presentation. 
Um, but basically, basically what I'm trying to do is, you know, I talk about metrics models. I talk about consumption and viability. And the way I lead into the contribution discussion is really around uh, mitigating risk. So I've just talked about all of the things you should look at to see if a project is viable for you to use. Now, here's how you um, make them more viable is by actually improving the project and employing contributors. And you can mitigate the risk for projects that might be a concern for you. So that's kind of the message in this. And then I go on to talk about, um, you know, making contributions and project health. And so some of the, the metrics associated uh, with that. So I basically talk about the starter project of the model. So that's, here, I'll stop sharing that probably, probably enough on that. But that's, oh, we have Gary. Yeah, yeah, he should. Hello, yeah. I'm here. I joined late, sorry. <laughs> Hi, Gary. What's okay, going Elizabeth, on? Do you, want to, do you want to share your screen and go back to uh, what we were talking about before? I had a little I had a little diversion to talk about how I thought about metrics models and why we needed a starter viability model. Ooh. Key. Who who Gary? would create such a thing? <laughs> um I did uh set up a get get hub uh, PR with the template um, from other uh, times that I've drafted models, which, uh, you know, not that I've ever done that. I don't know if this is the right format or if you want to do it in Google Docs. I'm happy to copy paste this if that's helpful, but it should be in files change that most of this is in. Um, yeah. I asked for four metrics. You said it required five, and now you've got six. Look at well, those spirals. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, you know, I feel like I kept it pretty tame. I started with twenty-four, <laughs> so now I put it on paper that it's six. <laughs> six is fine. <laughs> it's really just because I couldn't between pick between bus factor and elephant factor, and then uh, change request closure ratio and lib years. I couldn't, I couldn't between those. For it is good. Yeah. Pick. No, I think I think this is good. Do we want to put it in a Google Doc, or is this good? I'm okay with this. You can you can feel free to leave comments on whatever lines you think need fixing, or you can even suggest fixes if that's something you want to do. So. Yeah, I'm I'm okay with with uh, yeah suggesting fixes if there's anything that that we want to edit. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> it's a lot more efficient to edit in GitHub, so I'm all for that if people are comfortable. Oh, no, I see a double period on line 54. Sorry. Damn it, Gary. Did you even <laughs> proofread this thing? No. <laughs> Jeez, I'm coughing today. Excuse me. <laughs> Fix this. <laughs> Horrible, terrible, no good, very bad double period. Um, you can actually do like a or if oh are you logged into GitHub? Oh yeah, you are. Okay, never mind. There's there's like a neato thing where you can post a suggestion and then I can just click a button and it gets committed. But I, I can do it right now. I happen it's to have awesome it open because then yeah, it, it's actually so it's great. I don't know. I don't know if all of you have used this, but then you get credit it. for the suggestion. So Elizabeth, if you suggested a commit and then Gary just clicks on it, you actually get that commit. That's true. On GitHub. How do you so do that? You, you do. Uh, a... It's it's one of the little things that's on on the top there. Uh, don't hit yeah. start a review. It's I think it's suggestion. It, I think it's called suggestion. Is it yeah, the ellipses gotta... at the top. Um, it's one of those things. I forget where like... it is. Cancel, can't just cancel out of that for a second. And then click on the click on the plus again. Yeah, like on the line number. Okay. Then, is it that then, code? Oh, it's the last one after the at. What does that say? No, nope, sorry, that's not it. Huh. What are the ellipses? What pops up on the ellipses at the end there, the right? Nothing? <laughs> Look at that UI. Oh, wow. Jumps That's you to the top. Fancy. So silly. Go, go out of that. Actually, completely cancel out of that and go back up to the top. Scroll, scroll all the way up, and go to files changed. 
because then you get the full window. Oh, okay. And it's in files changed. No, no it might be fifth, line 54. Yeah, I don't know why you've got that big. Sorry, this just doesn't look like the one I do it. I don't know why. Oh, uh, right next to preview, right preview, and there's a plus minus box. If you click on the plus, click on the plus there. And that third thing right next to preview that. There it is. There it is. There it okay. is. Well, the things I clicked on a million times and then somebody asks me and I don't remember what I clicked on. I know. It brings me joy that it took you a second to find the double period because I don't feel as bad anymore. <laughs> Yeah, if you add it as a single comment, I can also just. Yeah, yeah, just commit it. And then all Gary, just all Gary has to do is sign off and commit the suggestion. All right. And the commit comes from Elizabeth. Sweet. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> okay, get tutorial done. <laughs> Yay. All right. Cool. Awesome. Here's the link if anybody much. wants to go make suggestions and get credit for your work on Gary's stuff. Yeah, I will. I'll take some time over the next couple of days to review that. What else do we have on the agenda? Anything? Seems like not. I joined just in time. We did. What's in the chat? What did I miss here? No, oh, I was just making comments about constant muting to Google stuff. All right. Well, I guess we can call it. We don't need to sit here and stare at each other for another half an hour. As, <laughs> Although as, I love your faces, I would do that happily. But awesome as that would be. <laughs> we can go ahead and cancel and then or shut this meeting down and move everything to next time. All Sounds right. Good. Good. All right. Bye, all. See you all later. Bye. Have a good one.